Happy New Year! If your resolution includes getting organized, today I have three tips and tools that you can use to clean up your computer, organize your data, and back it all up safely whether you're on a PC, a Mac, or even a phone. The best defense against data loss is a good backup strategy, preferably one that you don't have to touch. I'm also a penny pincher, so I'm going to tell you my favorite ways to save when using these services and even use them for free. So let's talk about cleaning up your PC. Windows over time will build up extra files. These are patches, temporary files, memory dumps if it crashes, and other stuff you really don't need. If you don't get rid of these, they can slow your system down. Or in the case of some solid state drives, it can actually cause it to wear down the remaining portions of your drive unevenly. Really quick, if this is your first time here, welcome, I'm John, the Net Guy, and I make PC build, technology tips, and review videos for everyone, regardless of your skill level. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, and it's great to have you back. Now on to the show. My first tip for Windows users is the Disk Cleanup Wizard. This tool is built into Windows and safely removes those unneeded files. To start, hit the Windows key once and type in Disk Clean. It should bring up Disk Cleanup automatically. Now it's going to scan your computer and then it's going to offer you some choices. But this isn't everything. If you click here where it says Clean System Files, this will scan your computer again and it's going to look for Windows updates and other files that it can get rid of a more advanced way. Another way you can do this is the same disk cleanup, right click on it and say run as administrator. That will give you access to the system cleanup files as well as the user files. This way often finds the most information to clean up. In my case, I have four gigabytes of Windows updates that I can get rid of. It also found 3.87 sitting in my recycle bin. And so just between those, I can get 8.3 gigabytes of storage back. For Mac users, you can do a similar thing with their new storage management. So on my Mac, I'm going to hit Command, Spacebar, and bring up the Spotlight Search. And I'm going to search for Storage, and it's going to bring up Storage Management. Now this is a built-in Apple product and allows you to look at several ways to optimize your storage. Now it's going to take a little while. It is scanning. It's looking through my photos library. It's looking to all of the items that I can do to save space. One of them obviously is emptying the trash, which it said is already complete. I can optimize the storage by removing shows that can have already been watched or can be re-downloaded to this Mac. I can also store some of my files in iCloud. So this is going to show me a quick breakdown of where my files are. And I can also click here to review large files that might be taking up space. In this case, it looks like I've got some old video files and it's got some podcasts that I recorded that I can move off to my network storage. So again, this is the storage management app from Apple and you can use it to find ways to optimize your storage and to clean up any files that you might have. For advanced users, there's ways to clean up Windows and Macs using more powerful command line options. If you're interested in a video on these and the techniques that I use, let me know in the comments. The second tip is to clean up big files that may exist but you may not know about. This can be a solution if you seem to be running out of space over time and this cleanup wizard isn't finding anything. There are two tools for this. On your PC, we're going to use a free software tool called Windurstat, Windows Directory Statistics. To save yourself from accidentally downloading spyware, head on over to my website, thenetguy.com, and click on Tools at the very top. You can download a version directly from me and your computer will stay squeaky clean. So how do we use it? When it pops up, it'll offer to choose what drives you want to include in the scan, and it's going to begin scanning your hard drive, looking for files and cataloging the size. This cataloging process will take some time, but when you're done, you're going to get a visual representation how much each file is using and where all the space on your computer is gone. So Windirstat just finished on my laptop and we're going to go through the results here and see if we can find anything interesting. So the first thing I noticed is a lot of my space, almost 30% of it by volume, is actually taken up by the CR3 extension files. So if I click on that, it highlights all of them on my computer. 
Now those are Canon raw image files and I remember I actually shot a wedding over the summer and that means that these individual files which yep they're right under here in my wedding photos directory was actually from that wedding I shot. Now I don't need them anymore that's 91 gigs out of my one terabyte hard drive on my laptop that I can get back by moving to offline storage. Additionally you can poke around and see very large files in this case, this is some footage that I shot that I haven't transferred yet. So these files are taking up space. That folder alone for this ProBook repair I did was 10 gigabytes. So another 10 gigabytes I can save. So this file here is actually for taking the machine and putting it into a hibernate state where it will actually turn off but write everything in memory to disk. With a solid state drive, they boot up so fast and sleep mode takes such little power that you can actually disable that. So I'm going to start a command prompt and I'm going to use administrator privileges and I'm going to type in the command power cfg forward slash h off and that's going to turn hibernation off and remove that from my system so that's not one of the power options. What's interesting here is if I take this and I right click that 6.3 gig file is going to go away. So now I've saved another 6.3 gigabytes because I don't have my laptop hibernating anymore. So lots of different ways you can save space and Windeer Stat is a great tool for finding those. So now we're going to jump over to my MacBook Pro and we're going to take a look at the equivalent program called Disk Inventory X. I'm going to press the command spacebar to bring up the spotlight search and then I'm going to type in disk and there it is the first item. So I open Disk Inventory X and it gives me a choice between the local hard drive and this extended partition that I have. I'm actually going to look in the extended because I think I left some things there. I'm going to hit Open Volume. Now this takes a little bit longer to catalog than Windows Stat, but it does just as good of a job. Okay, and just like that it's finished. So I can see here I've got a lot of files taking up space. Most of the files are a QuickTime player file, which means they're video files. Now I can see here right away, I shot this video event over a year ago. I forgot to take it off and put it on my network attached storage. So I'm going to take this item and I'm going to move it off to my storage device and I'm going to save 72 gigabytes there. Additionally, I can look for very large files and this file right here is my external library for when I'm on the go editing. I can shrink that down quite a bit just by opening Final Cut Pro and telling it to delete some of the rendered files. And I can look for some other large ones. This purple one is my Lightroom library, so doing some more photo editing. So right away with the Disk Inventory X tool, I can see visually where my space is being taken up and I've already found a candidate to save at least 72 gigabytes of storage on my system. Third and finally, we're going to back up all these files that are left over now that you have it cleaned up. My solution for your PC, Mac, and phone backup needs is using a cloud backup provider. In fact, you may already have a subscription to these and not even know it. What is a cloud backup provider? Well, Google Photos, Amazon Prime Photos, Google Drive, Microsoft 365, and Microsoft OneDrive are a few great options. Back in the day when we did computer backups, they would back up the entire computer. With Windows 10 being a standard base install image, and most software being available to install and update online, now we just worry about backing up documents, images, music, and other important user files, but not the entire applications, drivers, or system files. This is why an online backup provider makes a lot of sense. I often get asked, how can I free up space on iPhones? They constantly seem to run out whenever you're right about to take that next picture or video, and Apple is more than happy to sell you their cloud storage option. These backup solutions I'm going to cover also work for Android users out there. So let's talk about Google Drive, Google Photos, and new for 2020, Google One. These services are all from Google and they store your photos, documents, and files in the cloud safely, giving you the ability to restore files that are deleted and even remove backed up files to save more space on your iPhone, PC, Mac, or external memory card and storage. Google offers 15 gigabytes of storage from these services for free. Google One is their subscription service and their lowest tier is $2 a month for an additional 100 gigabytes of storage. 
Their next level is 200 gigabytes, which is what I subscribe to, and you can get bonus storage for trying different services and referring friends and family. Google has software for backup and synchronization on PC, Mac, and apps for iPhone and Android, obviously. Google Photos is a great way to back up your iPhone photo stream. To get started on PC, visit drive.google.com and you can set up a Google account if needed and download their syncing tools. For your phone, download the Google Drive app and Google Photos and you'll be able to back up your photos and access your files from anywhere. Next up is Microsoft 365. Formerly called Office 365, this product line from Microsoft has become a sleeping giant in the online backup, online productivity, and storage space sector. They learned a lot from other vendors in the market and their offering is getting better and better. With deep integration into the Windows Explorer and file system, they can store files in the cloud and then access them in real time on demand, keeping your system safe and reducing the storage needed on your computer. Microsoft 365 and OneDrive offer 5 gigabytes of free storage. Their family plan is currently sold at $99 a year for 6 members, a whopping 1 terabyte of storage for each, and full versions of Microsoft Office for every user. If you work at a company with Microsoft product licenses, you should run over to MicrosoftHUP.com. This is Microsoft's home use program, and often you can get an even larger discount on this product line. I also subscribe to Microsoft OneDrive standalone and have 100 gigabytes of storage there for my NetGuy platform. This lets me share files between my computers, vendors, friends, and back them up safely and access them on my mobile devices. To get started on PC, visit OneDrive.com and you can set up a Microsoft account if needed and download their OneDrive tool if you don't already have it. Make sure to tell it to back up your desktop, documents, and photos folders so you'll be protected. For your phone, download the OneDrive app and you'll be able to back up your photos and access your desktop files from anywhere. And finally, an often overlooked and free option out there is Amazon Photos. If you have a Prime account, you'll get unlimited free photo storage and 5GB of video at the time of this recording. The largest files we usually back up are photos and videos, so this in conjunction with one of the other free Google or Microsoft plans may be an affordable option for you. To install Amazon Photos, visit the App Center, install the Amazon Photos app, log in, and it'll automatically start saving your photos. Cloud backup services are not the final answer in data backup, but they are a valuable tool in your toolbox, and I've seen them save the day for many clients and friends. If you accidentally delete a file, most will keep it available to restore for 30 days. If you need longer retention, you may need to look into alternative long-term backup solutions. Let me know if you want to see a video on those. Also, I didn't cover another great maintenance tool here, removing duplicate files. This can be a very powerful way to save space, but can lead to accidental deletion of things, so it will definitely take a longer video. Are you interested in trying this? Shoot me a note in the comments and I'll try to put together a video on that. If you liked this video, click the like button below. Better yet, click on share and send it to somebody else who you think could use this advice. If I've earned your subscription, click the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any new videos I post. Thanks for watching and good luck keeping your data organized, optimized, and safe this year with these great tools. Hey, thanks for making it to the end of my video. If you want, do me a solid, hit the like button down there. And if you didn't like it, tell me why in the comments. I would love to help you out. If you do need some tech help, you can hit us up on the Discord channel. Links in the description below. And why not check out one of these other great videos? It's okay. I'll wait.